Hello everyone, I hope you're well and healthy. My name is Shahana. Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Tarot. I'm a certified tarot reader and I also work with crystals for healing and chakra balancing. Now, before I get on with my reading, I'd like to request you all to please like, share and subscribe in order to help my channel grow. Today's reading is going to be a general energy reading, meaning this reading will apply to anybody who comes across it, irrespective of your zodiac sign. This being a general reading may or may not resonate with all of you, so only take what resonates, leave out what doesn't. I've already drawn three tarot cards. Let's see what the messages are for you today. Okay. The first card is the Knight of Swords. This card represents the energy that you're currently vibrating at. Swords represents air energy. The person on the horse looks in a hurry, is very driven and determined to get to his destination. In fact, even the horse looks a little strange. Now the horse represents your body and the sword represents your mind. For some of you, while you are showing a lot of determination and courage, for some others, I feel you're pushing yourself too hard. You need to give yourself a break and not overdo it. The second card is the Four of Cups. This card represents what you are attracting with your current energy. Now, if you look at this picture or at this card, you can see a person sitting under the tree with his arms and legs crossed. There are three cups uh, standing before him, but he's not looking at it. He's also not uh, you know, in, he's also not interested in the fourth cup which is being offered to him. This card tells me that uh, this person is dissatisfied, is bored and is looking for something more. Either he's already achieved what he wants and is looking for something better or he's not achieved anything at all. The third card is the Six of Swords. This card represents how you can attract more abundance. Swords represents air energy as I've already mentioned to you. Now, if you look at this picture closely, on one side you can see that the water is turbulent, but on the other side it's calm. Interestingly, what this card tells me is that, for the sake of comparison, when you look at the first and the third card, the first card represents the direction in which you're going, but the third card or the advice card is saying you need to go in a different direction or have a different approach altogether. Although you're putting in a lot of uh, effort here, you're not getting anything or you're not getting very much, you're dissatisfied. So for some of you, you need to change your approach, your direction and the way you think completely. Let me draw a couple of cards from my unicorn deck to see what the unicorns have to say for you today. Interesting. The first card is titled Closeness. It says your unicorn is so very close to you. So for some of you, I think this just means some of you who are believers, I think it means that you do have some help, whether you can see it or not, perhaps your angels, your spirit guides, they are there helping you. The next card is titled moving and it says change is happening. So be prepared to move physically or spiritually. This card really correlates with the third card where I said that you need to change your approach or your direction. For some people, this third card could also mean you need to physically move or relocate from one place to another. Because where you're currently working at or where, where you currently live is not working for you. I hope you find this reading useful and interesting. I will be back again with another video. Until then, take care and have a great Monday. Bye-bye.